South Africa's political opposition came to the Constitutional Court as part of their campaign to force out President Jacob Zuma. They applied here to have a secret ballot in Parliament on a motion of no confidence. And the rules make it clear that the Speaker does have the power to authorise a vote by a secret ballot in a motion of no confidence proceedings against the President in appropriate circumstances. So now it's up to the Speaker of Parliament, Baleko Mbeti, to decide. Can you please recognize us? Provincially? Member of Jacob Zuma's ruling ANC party and seen by many as one of his loyalists. But in Parliament, things haven't been going smoothly for him. Opposition objects to record unemployment levels and a mire of alleged corruption scandals. Then Zuma's controversial cabinet reshuffle in March prompted opposition MPs to call for the vote of no confidence. And then they came to the court seeking a secret ballot because that way they think they can get some ANC members to vote against Zuma without intimidation. I'm not even interested whether the ANC MPs will vote or not, but today they have been told that put the interest of the people and the country first. That's what I want. If they don't do that, then it's an, it's an ammunition which we can use against them when we go to the people and report back and campaign to say never vote ANC again because ANC is protecting corrupt people. So the opposition are claiming a victory but face some more hurdles. If the judges here at the Constitutional Court said there must be a secret ballot in Parliament that would have been a more clear victory for the opposition but now they're left with the challenges firstly of getting that secret ballot on the motion of no confidence and secondly of getting enough ANC members of parliament to vote with them if they're to succeed in their plan to unseat President Jacob Zuma. Opposition supporters took to the streets last month when the court application was filed. Zuma must vote! Public discontent with Zuma has been growing too. But the ANC leaders are powerful within the party, not least because they can fire and appoint MPs at any time. So while the court ruling gives the opposition a chance of a secret ballot, Getting ANC MPs to vote against their leader two years before a presidential election will be another matter. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Johannesburg, South Africa.